Hey Gen Z, how we doing today? Are we doing good? Are we having a good day? Are we having a bad day? Or are you just barely hanging on by a thread? Because same, because same. I feel like that's kind of part of our generation. Our generation is just meant to struggle with these like existential questions. And I'm sick of it. Everything is so expensive. Uh, we have to work like a shit ton in order to make ends meet. Yet we're still considered the laziest generation. Why is that? Why is that? So I wanted to check in with you because I care. I really do. I care about us as a generation. I care about your mental health. I care about my mental health. I care about the mental health and the state of our generation because I think, I think things are going to shit. And I don't think I'm the only one that thinks that. I don't think I'm the only one that thinks that the world is going to collapse under us. I'm sure as hell, hopefully not the only one that thinks what's the point of doing any of this if the world is going to end? What's the point of recreating? What's the What's the point of procreating? What's the point of working so hard? What's the point of really doing anything when the world is going to shit? And I don't think Gen Z is any lazy than any other generation. I don't think Gen Z is any smarter than any generation. I think the only thing that's behind our mind or behind the, the things that we do is the pressure the pressure of time, the pressure to change, the pressure to be a better generation, the pressure to perform, the pressure to just simply exist, to be better than the people that came before us, to be an example for those who are going to replace us. You could say that that's a pressure for every other type of generation, but with the way the economy is going, I get it. I get why you feel hopeless. I get why I feel hopeless. I get why we all feel hopeless. And so it comes down to just a day by day basis. So how are you feeling today? I'm feeling like I'm running on three hours of sleep. I just had a coffee. I'm waiting for my second class of the day. I'm doing a master's degree so I can hopefully get more money at my current job. I'm working two jobs. Still at home. I'm 26. Still at home. Uh, can still barely afford to pay my expenses, even though I live at home. And everything's starting to feel so grim. Because everyone around you tells you, you should be working harder. Yeah, I've been working two, <laughs> two jobs at a time. Since I was 18 years old, I'm 26 now. Working my ass off just to make ends meet. And I know that it's not just money management or whatever it is. It's the way the world is going right now. The way that we can't buy houses anymore. My, my parents bought our house at like 200K years ago. This wasn't even that long ago. This was like 26 or seven, like 10 years ago. Now that same house is worth quadruple in price. Quadruple. That's like above the inflation. Above like the normal inflation of things. You can't even buy a home, you can't even. And the thing, the worst thing is that our jobs don't increase the salary enough to, to kind of work with the economy. So we can barely even afford like groceries or or housing and so then we're stuck renting for the rest of our lives because we can't afford homes 
So what even is the point of working? Having the hope to, to one day be able to do these things? Is Gen Z, is our generation just relying on the hope that things might be better? Maybe that is the solution, just to keep working, just to keep going, hoping that things will get better. Surviving on this faith, this, this, this faith that we can get things done. But are we ever going to get those things done? I don't know. And I acknowledge that I'm lucky in a lot of different ways. I'm lucky in a lot of different ways that most people aren't lucky. I live at home. Many people can't live at home or they don't have good relationships or any of those things. So I recognize that I'm lucky in a lot of different respects. But I empathize. I empathize with her generation because there is that pressure. Regardless where you come from, how you grew up, there is that pressure. That pressure to perform, that pressure to be better. Anyways, I just wanted to check in. How are you doing? I don't know if my audience members are uh, Gen Z, maybe older, maybe younger, but I wanted to check in, see how you're doing. How are you feeling today? Do you feel hopeless? Do you feel optimistic? How do you feel? Let me know. I'm curious. Even though right now I'm on my break from my two classes and I woke up at six, went to bed at three in the morning, did a three hour class where I almost fell asleep, getting ready now to go do my other class, then come home, rot, and then go to work tomorrow, and then again go to school the next day after that, and go to work again after that. And looking forward to Saturday, which is my only day off, I'm feeling hopeful. I'm outside, the sun is shining, the, the leaves are falling, it's gonna be fall soon. It's a beautiful day. And maybe it's all about counting her little blessings or whatever. <laughs> maybe it's about doing the best we can with whatever we have. And hopefully make it easier for the generations to come. Although that's a shit answer, I think. I think that's a shit answer. But yeah. Truthfully, I'm hanging on by a thread. I'm like this, this, this close to breaking. But I think that's the fun of it too, you know? It's kind of shitty. It's also kind of fun, you know? Anyway, um... Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Go outside, enjoy the sun, enjoy the leaves, enjoy the fresh air. Because <sighs> global warming's coming, baby. <laughs> okay, no, seriously. Thanks for watching. Bye.